know. Let me know. It's getting late here and my lights are dull. So I don't know if you can see me. The video might be a little dark. I'm managing. Managing a little bit here. Okay. I don't know, but let me just make this. Um, let me go ahead and answer these questions. Maybe. By the time they come back from church, maybe some people are not back from church yet. But here it's already getting late. Um, it's around 6:30, 6:30 p.m. here. So I don't know. I want to answer these questions, and uh, maybe I will post the video for others to see it whenever they come in. So um. You are welcome to NG Style Sogani Beauty Tips. So, um, who? Jum Arkins. I'm here. Oh, happy Sunday. NG, happy Sunday, Jum Arkins. How are you? <laughs> happy Sunday, dear. So, um, I got some questions that I'll be bombasting. <laughs> People asking me, no. I women when I refuse to answer, they keep somebody like on my Instagram, like stalking me. Where are you from? What's your real name? Where are you from? What's your real name? <laughs> and I know that any star is not. I say okay. Let me just do this. You are my people. You are like my family. Let me just um, give you guys a little intro. Then if you have more questions, you can ask. Then I will answer. But so far. My names are Ngozi. My names are Ngozi Jerry Dohu, aka NG Styles. Yes, <laughs> NG Styles are my, we call it nickname, my business name, my stage name. Uh, I'm right from, as you know, I'm an artist. Yes, I'm an artist, a gospel singer. Um, my albums have been there. My first album was released, uh, I think, uh, 2006, 2006, 2007. That was when my first album was um, released. And uh, it was an, a gospel, I'm a gospel singer, like I said. So it's a traditional gospel music called the title and uh, like the the CD is out there selling even in in in, in the Easter part Lagos anywhere and um, the title of the music is Divine Praise. So if you know about Divine Praise, if you have heard about Divine Praise, I am the owner of that gospel song. It's an Igbo song anyway. So Ihoma Ganeme, okay. So in case if you are in Nigeria. If you are in the East, if you are in Lagos, go to Alaba International, you will see, you just ask of divine praise, you get my CD. You are in, 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 in the Eastern part, Orisha, Enugu, Aba, whatever, you can get it there. So it's been selling out there. And it's also online selling. Um, you can get it as CD Baby, I mean, like um, iTunes, um, Amazon. Is there? It's online selling also, and the re and other of my CDs. I deal on gospel and partially um, hip hop, like when I want to tell a story. So I'm an artist. Yeah, that's what I stay with. So um, I'm the second, second daughter of my parents, and I'm from eastern part of Nigeria, Imo slash Enugu. Yeah. I'm Eve from Imo, then married to an Enugu man. <laughs> so, <clears throat> and I have my kids with me. Then I am, once again, I am uh, the CEO of NG Styles Incorporated and um, maker of Thai Secret Skin Care System and What's on Your Neck Jewelries. So, and uh, have other businesses like the um, security system devices know what's happening in your home where you are not there if you need any security devices you want to know what is happening in your home you can contact us okay so 
those are my other business. If you want to know more, just um, inbox me. <laughs> I do a bit of business. So, um, and I'm the managing director at Boom Boom Production. <laughs> Boom Boom Production um, House. Uh, we are into music, you know, music production. Um, we have our studio, yes, both in Nigeria and here in the USA. And uh, we sign some artists under us. And uh, I'm a music, uh, I'm a movie and music video director also. Okay, so <laughs> those are other business that I do. And um, I happen to be one of the hosts of Best of the Best Talents, Sash. I don't know if you guys have heard it. We move around. So if you're in Nigeria, you must have heard when we came here. So, so far, I think if you want to know more, maybe you should ask or inbox me. Maybe I will, I, I will answer later. So now you know my name. My name is Ngozi, okay? So, aka NG Styles, popularly known as NG Styles. So that is a little intro about me for those asking, okay? So you have heard it now, and so it's a part of Nigeria. So now, <clears throat> I want to talk about acne spots. A lot of you guys have been inboxing me and emailing asking, talking about your acne, um, not acne spots, there's acne remedies, the people that have acne pro skin. So, I'm going to give you something to make. I've been so busy. That's why I cannot go into doing the DIY now. But you, I, can, I will give you a tip to follow so that you can make, can, uh, make the DIY by yourself. If you're having acne, you need salicylic, uh, <laughs> salicylic <laughs> acid. So, you just make this serum. It's not a water-soluble powder if you know salicylic it's a powder salicylic acid comes in powder it's not a water soluble it's oil soluble so if you want to make it make two percent serum of it <coughs> excuse me <coughs> that's my water please so if you want to make this serum what you need is get <coughs> Neem, infused neem leaf in grapeseed oil. If you have neem leaf already, just use your neem leaf oil. If you don't have, get a neem leaf or neem powder, infuse it in grapeseed oil. So you need 30 grams of this oil and you need papaya leaf oil, not papaya fruits. Papaya leaf oil, get papaya leave and infuse it in the oil also or if you have already infused use the oil you need 30 gram of it 30 gram of neem oil and 30 gram of papaya leaf oil and then you need tea tree essential oil and rosemary essential oil 10 drops of tea tree essential oil and 10 drops of rosemary essential oil then you need propylene glycol. The propylene glycol is what you will use to dissolve the salicylic acid powder because it doesn't dissolve in water. It is alcohol and oil soluble, okay? And it doesn't dissolve directly in oil. So you need to, first of all, dissolve it with uh, the pro propylene glycol, okay? So like get the, uh, you need 13 gram because we are making 2% of salicylic acid here. So remember, 30 gram of neem oil, 30 gram of papaya leaf oil, and 10 drops of tea tree oil, essential oil, 10 drops of rosemary essential oil, propylene glycol, and 13 gram of salicylic acid powder. Measure the 30 gram. Um, put in the propylene glycol and mix it. When you mix it, you will get a paste-like consistency. <clears throat> okay? Excuse me, guys. So, you get a paste-like, then 
mix it and get a paste like what you will do is the oil get the, this boat oil make sure the 13 gram neem oil 13 gram papaya leaf oil your tea tree 10 drops of tea tree oil essential oil and rosemary then mix the oil together mix your salicylic acid with the propylene separately in another mixing small a little mixing bowl and get a paste then add it to the oil and shake it mix it very well if you have this my little the, you can see the little um mixer that i normally use if you have that kind of mixer use it to mix it so that you can mix properly mix it properly mix it until everything blends together then you add it in a bottle it becomes your um serum your salicylic acid serum those places you are having your acne that the acne is coming out whether it's alive or not use it on those particular spots okay apply it to your acne it will kill the bacteria and also fight the acne that is what salicylic acid does as it does it kill and they also exfoliate okay it exfoliates that is the remedy for your acne it will kill your acne one hand okay so after cleaning your after treating the acne that is how to treat your acne first after treating your acne i got another question some people say they have treated their acne but there are dark spots on their face left after treating your uh, your acne and you still have dark spots on your face left what you will do is to make this serum you need this facial serum this facial serum will take care of those spots that the acne have left on your face any type of spots dark spots whether sun spots or any dark spot that is left on your face you are going to use this serum that i'm going to give you this the recipe now so the recipe are to make this dark acne uh, to make this dark spots serum you need rose hip oil Rose hip oil is going to be your base oil, okay? Use rose hip oil to be your base. We all know the benefit of rose hip oil. It's, it's like, it's, it's the hyperpigmentation oil, okay? So even if you have a hyperpigmentation, you can also use this serum on it. Very, very good. The one problem we are getting is impatience. If you use it every day, patiently, it works. So you need rose hip oil to be your base oil you need four teaspoons of uh, rose hip oil you need 10 uh, 10 drops of lemon essential oil add to it one teaspoon of neem oil if uh, it's either you, you if you are using uh, essential neem oil use five drops if you are using the normal neem oil that you have infused use one teaspoon of neem oil then next you need chamomile oil is it chamomile or chamomile even if i don't pronounce but you understand what i'm talking about so you need chamomile oil if you are using the chamomile essential oil also use the use five drops of it if you are using the infused one maybe you infuse in your home use one teaspoon only also then you need um papaya or pineapple oil if you are using papaya oil you are going to be using two teaspoons of papaya oil okay so let me measure the ingredients again four teaspoons of rose hip oil two teaspoons of papaya or pineapple oil i have video on how you can infuse your papaya oil or pineapple oil on my channel there so you search for the video wash it and make yours at home or you can buy already made one then you need one teaspoon of chamomile oil or five drops of uh, chamomile essential oil if you are using the essential oil you can if you don't have the oil you can use the essential oil if you have the oil use it it works the same then you need one teaspoon of neem oil if you are using the oil one teaspoon if you are not using the oil use five drops of the essential oil then you need 10 drops of lemon essential oil mix them together okay mix them together and use it every day all right using this you need mask i have a video on how to make a a fascia, um a skin i call it skin whitening 
mat, say harbor mat mix um, with um, and different kinds of um, powders like sada wood powder, licorice powder, and a lot of other harbor powders in it. Okay, so we make this. The video is there on my YouTube. So what you need, you need to make that powder, or you can buy. I also have it in the store. It's called Uptan mask powder if you go to style secrets if you go to my website you will see it there it's called but well, the one on my website the one in my store is more richer because if you, if you look at the ingredient list you understand what i'm talking about i added more 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 <laughs> nourishing and goodness you know when i made the video i made you always because that one is diy version so we made it a little but when you the one you are selling and the one you make DIY are not always the same. That is the pure truth. So you can make yours there from the um from the DIY and use it. They will it will also work, okay? Because the base are the same. So you give it the same result. The only thing is that one is added, more things are added to it so that you can fasten the job. So use that powder as your mask. You can use that powder every day. It does no harm. Very natural and very safe. You can use it every day. You can use it all over your body. If you want to glow your skin, you want your skin to like glow all over from head to toe, you use it as all over body mask. I do that. I have video on, I have made video on how I use it. You know, I cannot show on my video how I use anything you when you see me when I make my face when I get into my bathroom I use it all over my body okay so you can use it all over your body very very safe and very effective especially if you want your skin to brighten and glow it does the job that's why Indian people they use it on their people when they are about to wed you understand they call it brighter uh, whatever brighter powder <laughs> All these things so that is it for the dark spot so use that mask you can use it every day or use it three times a day or use it twice a day okay you can use it how you want but the serum we just made for dark spot use it every day you can use it two times a day but if you're using it during the day because of the lemon deer use sunscreen my dear I get this every time. Some people will say, I use this, it started working, uh, uh, and it stopped working. What's happening? Please protect your skin. If you know that the area where you are living is hot and there is sun there, don't just go out that way. Protect your skin. Even in the house, if you know you leave your um, all this bulb all the time, protect your skin. If you know you cook every time you are beside your stove, or your oven or whatever that the heat comes out from. Protect your skin. Protect your skin. It depends on the type of, if you know you're gonna stay out in the sun for long, reapply. Every two hours, every three hours, or every four hours, depending the type of sunscreen or you know, the sun protector, protector you are using. Protect your skin. When you are treating your skin, especially when you have hyperpigmentation and you are treating your hyperpigmentation, exposing yourself to the sun, you are just wasting that product. Excuse me, I don't know what's happening to me. You are just wasting that product. It will always come back. You will, even when you get, even if you go to your doctor, to a dermatologist, it will it prescribe a particular drug for you. You will say, you use sunscreen. To avoid redarkening, you have to protect your skin from the sun. Sun is our number one enemy. I always say that. Protect your skin. Okay? So if you are treating anything, number one is be consistent. Use it regularly. Never get tired. If you are looking for fire for fire, you want overnight um, results, then you try harsh chemicals. Okay? Harsh chemicals will give you that fast result, but we destroy your skin letter i know a lot of people that they will be they go to dermatologists and they prescribe some um, um, um cream or something to them to use for like two weeks because they use it and they got that result they continue using it permanently 
At long run, they start complaining. I have a lot of them. I get pictures every day. I get videos. I can't complain every day. My mailbox sometimes I can't even answer everybody. Okay? So the tip is use that thing as a treatment. The product that are meant to be treatment, they are treatment for treatment. Use it and stop. But if you are using natural thing, my sister, you don't have to bother. Relax and use it and go. You don't, there's no end date. You don't need to panic. Relax and use it. Just be patient, okay? Be patient and use your thing. The more you use it, the more the, the product gets, the more your natural product gets used to your skin, the more you see your skin glowing. You will be rejoicing, no? Be showcasing your skin. That is it, you know? So, talking from experience here, I've tried that side and I've tried this and I can compare. All right? So, be patient. When, if you are going natural, just get ready. Number one, you have to be patient. If you know that you are not a patient type, please don't go to, don't follow natural skincare uh, uh, routes. Okay? If you are not a patient type, if you know you are not going to be patient, you are not ready to face it, or like, yes, I've told you the truth, just forget about it. Do not go that route. Because you have to be patient. That is the simple truth. Anybody telling you that uh, 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 natural thing will give you results fast, fast? No. What? <laughs> oh, Esther, I see you. No, you're not late. You're still on time. Don't worry. You still watch it. So I'm still going to post it, okay? <laughs> so, do you understand? You have to be patient, my dear. Patient is the key to natural. I know a lot of them that are patient and they are enjoying every day they keep like oh my god thank god for sending me your way i'll be like it's not my it's not my <laughs> you just have you just because and i will tell them thank you also for being patient because some people need fast results people buy one set of product they want that one pack of one bottle of product they, that that is that is about to it product needs to get used to your skin before it starts working, before it starts showing. You have to balance. This is not what you are using before. When you change to a new kind of product, allow it to get used to your skin. Let it sink in. Let it say, oh, I'm in a new environment. You know, you balance, then you sit and you take charge. That is it. That is how it works. So don't be patient. The more you use it, the more you get used to. Don't forget about time. Don't give it time. Don't forget any people because people do come and uh, people used to go back to them and complain that oh I use this thing it wasn't working for me and uh, they stop. That's why people will like to they will they will be forced to now start adding something to their. I just they still call it natural and why they are adding something that is not natural. I have said it several times here. If you use anything that gives you that gives you that kind of results, my dear, and you see it's called natural, it's not natural. That is the simple truth. I have to say it. That is the simple truth. Talking out of experience here. Okay? Anything natural works, but it's so slow. It's slow, not slowly. Depending on your kind of skin. People that get fast results are people that have fair color already if you are fair already you know you have that light complexion already when you use it you see the result immediately it gives you that two three um, um, two three shades depending on what shade you are you can see the result because you are but if you are dark your skin is darker my dear just be patient and give it time maybe it might take one year two years for you to get the kind of visible results you are looking for is what natural does and that is the simple truth my dear that is the simple truth if you want to get fast results then there are people out there that are into that if you want to bleach out your skin faster there are people there you can go on that route also when you go on that route maybe when you get your results you divert to uh, this thing you know, or maybe when it has uh, destroyed your skin then you come I treat I'm always available I have a lot of them lining up my clients I'm treating <laughs> okay that I've got <laughs> all of them come and they, they say the same thing 
I use this product when I was using it. They will show me their picture when they were using it, so beautiful. And they stop using it. Look at how they have turned to you. Will be like, is this the same person? I can't believe this. This is the same person. What? You see it? So I'm not. I guess the other day I made video. People said I said I did not say it's not good. I did not say. Listen, people always misunderstand me. What I said is what you should avoid in. Any product you are buying, you know you're going to make that product your permanent product that you're going to be using. Those ingredients are what you're going to what to be avoid. That's what I say. If you are buying product you know you're going to use for a long time and you always hydroquinol, hydroquinol, hydroquinol in it, avoid it. Hydroquinol is not meant for you to use for a long time, my brother and sister. That is the pure truth. The result, the end result will be to destroy your skin. Simple truth. I am telling you the simple truth. So I did not say it's no good at all at all. That is a bad you not know. What I am saying here is that you people abuse it. People abuse it. People don't know how to use it. They overuse it. And the end result becomes distrustful. Okay? So that is what I mean. Glycolic acid is good. I do not say it's bad. But I said it's for exfoliation. But do not use it permanently forever. If you know that the product, I mean, you bought one packet, one, one, one um, bottle that have these ingredients in, in there in it. And after using it, you want to go and buy it and continue using it. No. Your skin will thin out. You will get different kinds of thin on your skin. Instead of it doing good to your skin, it will end up destroying your skin. So what is the need? Huh? So that is what I said. All those, all those things I measured, they are good. But I said, people misuse it. If you are buying any product that you'll be using permanently and you see all those ingredients in it, please avoid it. That's all I said. But using it once in a while to treat your problem, fine. Don't use it more than two weeks like your dermatologist or your doctor said or told you, okay? Use it and drop it and then move ahead with other things. That's what I said because I know they nearly killed me. A lot of email, a lot of calls. People were like, how can I say that? Try that private. I don't know it's bad. Some people were like, different kind of... I. I have blocked a lot of people. I block them for not seeing my uh, my channel. I block you. You cannot see my channel again. If you see comments, people were like fighting me because I made sure that I, uh, I said they should avoid hydroquinone products. People were like I'm destroying their business. People that are doing the hydroquinone business, I'm not destroying your business. That's not what I mean. I do not say it's not good. FDA approved two percent of it in um, over-the-counter uh, uh, products, right? So what I'm trying to say here is that people misuse it. That's what I only say. I do not say it's not good. Please, that's not what I say. If people have problem, they want to use it. Let them go ahead and use your product, and let them take care of their pro this thing. I never said it's bad, but what I'm trying to say, if you want to use any product. You want to use it for a longer time avoid those um ingredients in many products you're going to use for a long run and embrace natural things that contain natural um ingredients that i have made the video i measured the some of i measured some few um ad, uh, addictives that are natural that are safe for your skin to use longer okay so you guys should stop misunderstanding me and please don't <laughs> don't cut my neck off because that video up to, up, up to, <laughs> up to today I am getting some kind of um, comments <laughs> there but they are misunderstood they, they just misunderstood me you know that's not what I said you guys know the truth after I, 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 have, I always said even here anything I say here still go out there and make your research you need to go and make your own research to find out the truth before you don't just listen to me alone excuse me what's going on maybe the food my food have not digested so go out there and make your research before you apply before you put anything on your skin 
it's your skin you have every right to know what you are putting in your skin product that doesn't have label is not meant for you you need to know what is on the label or what is in the product you are using read your label get your, your get your ingredients any product you want to put on your skin and there is no label on it ask the product uh, the whoever that um, you are buying it from what is what are the ingredients in these products it's your right you deserve to know the ingredients in every product you are putting on your skin yes it's so right know what you are putting on your skin you don't just put anything they give you something no label no, no label only name and you are putting on your skin you don't know what you are putting on your skin tomorrow people come to me i'll tell them what product are you using what what what, what have you been using they will tell me the name of the cream what are the ingredients in the cream i don't know the product that have label how come you're using product that doesn't have label my dear every product needs label everything you got you must see ingredients you know they have to be ingredients list set on it starting from if you want to know which one is higher in percentage in it you see the way the ingredients are laid are the way it is if you want to know which one is higher okay so that is it you deserve the right to know okay i hope you guys have understood i hope you understand what i'm talking about here <laughs> so another question i get um is a skin tag so someone was um i don't know if it's one person but i keep getting this question instagram facebook youtube different place the person will be send me email prioritized skin tag skin tag okay i've made research about skin tag the natural way to take it, to take off skin tag this i saw this i followed this it was tested she's living on youtube it was tested and i saw the skin tag fall off i don't know the kind of skin tag you have there but her own skin tag happened here this skin tag one um apple cider is the remedy use apple cider on your skin tag take apple cider soak it put it on it if you are going to bed put it on it soak it and put it on it use um what do they call it here we call it plaster my african people will understand me on nigeria plaster use it on it to hold it and go to sleep the next morning take it off you will see the skin tag will dry apply um tea tree oil on it and reapply if you are going to apply that tea tree oil and then go then when you come back reapply like she said he always she do it every time like every she keep reapplying reapplying maybe like every hour or so that is if you have time you do it like it's on weekend if you're not, you're not going going anywhere you can do it on weekend reapply reapply at night put it there and put that plaster and go to bed the next one apply a uh, tea tree oil and go to wherever you are going come back and then keep applying that it will dry it off after drying it off you see the skin tag fall off okay try it and see if it helps you because i have i didn't try it on my skin so i can't say i have a friend that tried it and she's on youtube here also maybe if i remember maybe i'll put her uh, link um, later okay so her own fell off <laughs> i'm telling you but what did she use vinegar apple cider vinegar the original one with mother and tea tree essential oil it will dry the vinegar will, the job of the vinegar is to dry that skin tag it will dry it and seize it before you know it it will fall off okay so uh maybe you should try it and see if it works for you okay so guys so i don't know these are the three questions the acne remedy i have showed told you guys how to make the two percent uh, salicylic acid serum maybe i'm going to put it uh, on the description later after this uh we are live maybe after the video if i post it i might do it if i have the chance so so busy sorry guys 
I am a... <laughs> Esther, I'm not going to block you. <laughs> Did you do anything? No, I only block people because I don't have time. I, I see a lot of our people crying on YouTube, complaining about how people used to... I don't have time to even come and make you start complaining. I will, once you make it, give me any comment that got nothing to do with the video, what we are talking about, I will just block you. That's what I do. Okay? As long as you're... What I need is positive. Be positive. If you're negative, so I don't just block people in the hours. So, <laughs> yeah, come on. I'm not going to block you, okay? It's for those people. Some people will come and make some nasty comments saying... Some people cry. For nothing you know because you, you, you they don't want you to say anything they, they they maybe they are guilty about or something everybody is good nobody's about me we are learning we learn what i'm saying here is what i what i learned i didn't know about it before so i acquired the knowledge i came i come here to share it with you guys your email or phone number my dear my email and phone number is on my website which is um ngstyleonline.com i used to leave if you check any of my video you will see my website there any of my video i always leave my my website under the description um box okay so you will see my when you go to my website you can see it okay or are you with your pen let me call it um elizabeth please okay for the class please chat me on um, instagram so that uh, we can talk better there okay you shut me up on instagram same name ng styles organic beauty tips go to instagram and search for ng styles organic beauty tips you will see me there on facebook ng styles uh, but you are on facebook right then you can check me also on Facebook. NG Styles Organic Beauty Tips. Okay. Uh huh. So it's the, it's the same name. I'm on I'm on Facebook also, so you can equally get me there. So if you have any other questions, these are the pressing the four questions I have. I said let me make live video and then talk about it. So if you have any other questions, you can also you can always ask. If you are live here, you can ask, I can answer you. If you're not live anytime, you can ask your questions. You can um, email me. The sepi white powder I know we use here, which is skin white MSH, is oil soluble. Okay. Elizabeth, who asked that question? Elizabeth, right? So the second powder I know is oil soluble. It's not water soluble. It's oil. You dissolve it with warm oil. It's hard to dissolve. So use warm oil to dissolve it. It's oil soluble. Okay. Hope I've answered your question. So um that is it. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, it's oil soluble, not water soluble. So I don't know if they have, a, I've not seen another type. The one I know is oil soluble. So, um, yes, all those things you can miss, them. you can add them. Um, what's the name? Silver, silver. What's your name? So I can't pronounce your name, but you can add those in your lotion. But add it according, add the right. Make sure you add the right percentages and add the right pH. Listen, guys. Many people add additives to their a lotion. They just get additive and add it to their lotion, and they will say it's not working. It won't work because number one, it did not. Uh, add the right measurements to it. That is number one. You have to, you everything have the, a certain percentage you need to add for it to work. Okay. For example, Kojika seed they say use one to five percent. Right. 
So you can use between one to five percentage, but the right percentage you might want to use is the middle, maybe like three percent of it. What works is not much the higher ingredients you add into a product. When you combine different kinds of different kinds of um, added actives together at the at the minimum you know, uh, percentages, that is what works. What works is the more you use it. How do you use it? The longer you use it, not something that you will mix and use and, and you want to see results under one month, no. And if you like, put one bucket of scourges acid into your cream, it will not work. Instead, it will darken you. It will give you a bad result. So what works is, they say use between one to five percent. Use between use three percent or four percent. With other when you when you are combining kojic acid, alpha butin in between. When you combine different kinds of actives together with the right percentages, use the right percentages and make sure the products you are the in, the actives you are um, you are adding to a particular product belongs to the same pH range. If it is below the pH range, it won't work. If it is above the pH range, it won't work. That is the truth. It won't work. It works. All these actives you mentioned here, they all works with pH. They need a certain pH for them to work. That is the simple truth. If not, it will not work. You are just wasting your money, your ingredients, and your time period that is the simple truth you need to attend classes for you to know more about all this many people if not anybody can go and buy powder buy anything and put into a cream and start using a lot of people do it it doesn't work because they don't use the right measurement or the right um, ph or the right um, um solvent to dissolve it that is it you will see second white some people dissolve it in water i will say maybe the second white they are using is different from mine let me just keep quiet i see a lot of things on youtube you know but just keep quiet maybe just maybe you see people measuring measuring things with spoon that was that was what we did when we started when we don't know anything and it wasn't working we are like why is this thing not, not working for long you know until you see when you go to class you go you when you you know attend a course you see so many mistakes you are you'll be making then you can correct it and make a good product that people will love even if you are selling your customer register and comfort people that are patients because patient is the key to natural products you know if you are gonna go natural be patient. <laughs> Love you plenty, my dear. Mwah. Love you too. Okay? So, if you're going to go natural, you have to be patient. Okay? Patient is the key. That is it. You don't use one product and, and, and want to see the uh, um, result immediately. Mba. So my clutter, I start from beginning, I place you, first of all, you have to exfoliate because if you're applying any product or any cream, whatever, on top of a, 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 a skin that is not exfoliated, you did not exfoliate your skin, you want to apply product and expect it to work, it will not work. It won't work. Yes. Unless you exfoliate. So first of all, you start with exfoliation if you want to get... A good result exfoliate your skin and use the right product and when using it use it complete don't use half and half if you really need a good skin that is the simple truth okay all right guys so um i think i've answered some questions <laughs> uh, so, yes tomato is good bb Tomato is good. It's a great, um, it contains lycopene that is great for skin. I even have, um, when I'm chanced, I'm going to make a DIY video using 
tomato. But I have a, 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 a video already that I've used tomato to make um, the full body scrub and mask that I made. It's there on YouTube, my channel. So tomato is good, but what I cannot say is I see some people put some people might add some people, <laughs> some people add raw tomato to they get a already made a ready made cream they add raw tomato into their cream and mix it and start using they add raw um lemon juice mix it and start using i don't know i don't know how it's going to smell anyway <laughs> maybe it's, maybe they are using it for mask anyway like that kind of thing i can make it but i will use it for mask maybe apply it on my on my body and wait for 45 or or an hour then i'm going to my shower and wash it off you understand because any mask you apply anything you apply your body for five minutes is enough for you to walk to sink in and walk <laughs> once your skin is clean but using it as normal cream and working i don't know um how long did it took for you to see changes Sweetheart, I cannot say this is how long because I know continuity is what I do. So I, I don't even know. It's people that will tell, oh, you are changing your skin. is really bright, blah, 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 you know. So I can't say maybe six months, eight months, one year. I can't, I can't, I can't say. So I don't know. People always ask that question, but I don't know. I can't say because the mountain is, all I can say is that when I first started, I was like, using it bumper to bumper like two times in every day morning night morning night morning night bumper to bumper for like three months then after three months when i i started seeing um my skin started brightening up at least from where i was <laughs> i now started using like once a day so for now i use only two two times a week that's how I use my brightening products. I use them two times a week on myself. Other ordinary days, just moisturize your skin and go. You know? So I can't say this is how long, but if you're a beginner, you don't have skin care class. Um, what are you saying? I don't understand. Know you what? What in details, dear? I didn't get cash down question. So, um, all I can say is the continuity is the thing. Just continue using until you see results. So, skin are different. Skin are very, very different. Look at if you have if you have tough skin. If your skin is tough, and you are a beginner. You start with exfoliation, exfoliate for good one month, uh, four to six weeks. If your skin is tougher, shift it to eight weeks. Then after that, you use your first uh, brightening um, product. After using that, and the, after two months again, you go back to exfoliation. After that, for that one, you do it for four weeks. Then after that, you, you start combining it use your exfoliating um your for example i place people on exfoliatic prep lotion which i have in my store so you use your brightness during the day with your sun protection then at night you use your exfoliating prep lotion your eight hours you use your you give it eight hours plus eight hours or even more so for example in the morning you apply your um, brightening um, lotion from eight o'clock to um seven you give him at least it has worked from morning give it eight hours that one will work for full eight hours during the day you come back you bait you apply your prep lotion you wait for at least one hour or two hours before going to bed so that you don't go and dash your bed or the whole um goodies uh, what about potatoes are very good yeah yeah potatoes potatoes are good natural things any natural things are good but you have to make your do a patch test to know if it suits your skin okay potatoes are good 
it's natural um, it contains um, natural skin brightener but it's not everything that is good is not for every skin okay what my skin love your skin might not love it and some things that your skin love I apply it you say no 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 I see some people apply lemon directly to their face I cannot do that if I put it my skin will peel off immediately it will burn it will burn eyes eyes block <laughs> The day I tried it, ice block could not even quench the, the burning sensation I was getting, you know. So, why some people, I see some people, they, they, they put, like, 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 they use lemon with baking soda directly, shiki, 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 shiki on their face. I would be like, wow, you know. So, it's like some people's skin are like plastic. So, every skin are not the same. So, um, the things that are good for you, might not be good for me, okay? I mean, knowing how to make things and so properly with mama. Uh, my dear, um, if you want you, uh, you have to go, you have to attend a course, okay? You have to attend a course. Don't worry, um, uh, we are still uh, making plans for people outside um, USA, especially people in Africa. We are still making plans on how it, it can work, you know? <laughs> with them so when it's ready i will make an i will make i will make an announcement on youtube and let you guys know but for now even the price they can't even they are, they are all shouting i have some dark spots on my shoulders can i just um dark spots i just um mentioned something about dark spots here i just gave a recipe uh you can use the serum and the uh, Using it with the um, herbal mix powder that I have, the whitening herbal powder. I have the video on how you can make it. You use it to exfoliate, like put it there and leave it for like um, 10 to 20 minutes as per masking. Then for brightening, when you are making, when you are mixing the powder, I have how to use it also there. When you are mixing the powder, add a little, squeeze in. A little of um, lemon maybe I don't know if you if you don't have sensitive skin like me you can use a full <laughs> lemon so squeeze in lemon into your powder the powder and uh, add milk to it and um, a little honey then mix it and then apply it on the spots leave it for like 20 minutes okay if you can go on like me I, I used to if you follow me on instagram you will know mask i don't joke with when i when i put on mask i can take my mask for even two hours because i love masks i believe they are the things that penetrates faster into your body and do the job Forget about me cream is just like we just have to keep our skin moisturized if not mask the things i know i believe that does the works are mask i love masks so much mask helps me if you want your skin to i don't apply makeup I don't I don't apply makeup I don't apply even white powder I love mask because mask you want a glowing skin go for mask you leave your skin smoother you know glowing yes we break out once in a while as a human being like do like me in a period you know you see one or two breakouts but before the three days or to see everything clear on earth <laughs> thank you bb esther what's your question please maybe you should ask again no i'm asking somebody else here so apply the mask and then use the serum on it every day this mask i'm talking about this powder you can use it every day it's very very safe okay very 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 safe you don't have any problem so you can use it every day you can even use it all over your body if you want to get a more clean and clear skin use it every day i love you too bb <laughs> sweet that yes so I'm, I'm telling you some people nothing enters nothing nothing passes by you know i call them plastics <laughs> 
no whatever you use doesn't but those kind of skin needs um more and more and they lo and lots of uh, exfoliation for for the for the for the dead skin to clear you know dead skin to uh, to leave this <laughs> So clear this place so that um, their um, brightness can sink in and do the work. Everything is patient, you know. Having a good skin is patient and money. Because if you want to have a good skin, my dear, you will spend money. That is the truth. You will spend money. I will not tell some people, if you cannot afford the ready-made product, just go and learn and start making it yourself. By then you can use it and I don't have that. <sighs> Where are you? If you don't, the powder is there on my channel on how you can make. You can make one for yourself, dear. You can make the DIY whitening powder. The powder is a mixture of cedar wood powder, licorice powder, um, I remember? orange powder. Um, what's the name again? There's different kinds of powder, even. Um, uh, Besson powder is there, um, turmeric powder, um, a lot of powder, just different kinds of um, herbal powder mixed together that does different kinds of work. Very, very good. It's very, very good. I have video on how you, on how you can make yours, but if you are here in US or around the world, I have it also in my store. Okay, you can order for the products in my store. So, um, you use it every day, you can use it every day, you can use it three times, four times, it depends on how you want it. Then you apply the serum every day. That serum is very, very good. It will help you. Okay, I'm talking about DIY. But if you're around, you want to use my product, then I have all these things. I have the things that will help you. They are there in my store. When you use them patiently, and consistently it does the job okay thank you king yes so rice water is good also baby <laughs> yeah rice water is good but it doesn't lighten the skin. It's good for exfoliating your skin, okay? Uh-huh. Some people say rice lighting is among... No, that is not what it is. You can make your research and then Google. Always Google or make deep research. Please. Yes, my dear, if you want. <laughs> Tell them, oh, patient is the key. That is it. Without patient, you need patient and you need money. Because you have, you need money to continue buying the product and be using it. That is it. If you are going natural, even if you are going the other way around, excuse me, even if you are going, no problem, BB. <laughs> That's why I'm here. No problem. <laughs> so, even if you are going the other way, it doesn't, it doesn't do the work overnight too. You want to get um, what is that name? People, people write to me, they call names of celebrities, they want their skin to be like, hmm, if, if they tell you, uh, Rihanna is the one that I always, I want, I want to have Rihanna's skin. You will have Rihanna's skin if you can spend the kind of money you are spending on her skin. That is the simple truth. Yes! <laughs> you can have any kind of skin you want if you can afford it. That is the simple truth. So spend the money and you will have it. Simple. Okay, so that is it. I hope. But this kind of shit from my restaurant is and shit. I don't know. I don't know what what the contents are. So it depends. Some people will tell you. It's expensive, I don't know. Maybe they need uh, one dollar cream, five dollar, ten dollar. I don't know, but good. I always say it's good soup. Now, Monique, only my African people will understand my, 
my language. Uh huh. Say no to plastic surgery. I I don't know. Even the plastic surgery now. <laughs> If you don't want it, just go now. Just patiently and consistently. That is the key to natural. All right, guys. So I think I have passed my. Um, I've answered all the questions uh, that they've been asking me. Mm -hmm. So now I will be leaving you guys. If you have more questions, you can leave it down. Later, we go through your questions and they pick it up. Maybe make another video. Is a theory that it's not Esther, what's your question? Esther, what's your question? I want to, I'm, I'm about to leave. Uh, to me, somebody's. What's your question, dear? I'm about to leave. Oh, <laughs> ask your question again. Let me answer before I go. Oh, okay, guys. Ah, uh, I'm so busy. People, people. I'm messaging. Okay, Elizabeth, you had one message in your Facebook. Okay. What is body butter? Esther Zigwe, what is to body butter? I don't understand. To body butter. I don't understand. Ask your question again. I'm doing my body butter. Okay. Go ahead and do your body butter. So, what question? You said you have question. <laughs> you know what, Esther? Uh, maybe you should send me... No. Body butter. Can I add colic acid? Body butter, as long as there is no water, you don't need to check any uh, pH. Okay? But if you want to add, if you want to add colic acid and MSH, do a, if you want it to work, do a, do a, do a mus, a emulsified body butter, okay? That kind of butter, your, it will work. All right, those are mistakes that people made before. <laughs> well, you know, it will only it will only glow your skin. You add it, it glows your skin. Okay. If you want it to work properly, you need to make it um a, make a emulsified body butter that that will contain water and um and other stuffs and then. I have I have the if you if you want to the I have it for sale. I have the uh, emulsified butter recipe, the um, skin lightening emulsified butter recipe. But the video is for sale. If you go to video shop, that's where you will see it. All right, guys. So stay organically beautiful, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. If you have any question leave it down below and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video